Com, and today we're going to do metabolic finishers. So this is a great way to kind of increase your heart rate, increase that EPOC so you keep burning calories after you work out. This is a great supplement to do after you do the whole metabolic resistance training. These are called Afterburners. I got it from uh, Alan Cosgrove. He's really great. Check it out. And the thing with these is if you want to replace that cardio, this is a great way to get it done faster. It's going to be harder. I won't lie to you guys. It's going to be much harder. Much more intense, but it's going to be much more beneficial to you. You're going to lose a lot more weight, a lot more calories, and hanging on the treadmill for a half hour after you work out, okay? And you get it done in like a few minutes or so. So the first one we're going to do, we're riding the stairway. We're going to go sprints up and down the stairs. We're going to go five times usually, but I'm going to do it a couple times because I'm just demonstrating, okay? First one we got. Start right here. Don't miss a step. And coming down, so this is interval training basically. So I'm kind of resting going down. And I'm sprinting going up. It's going to be really demanding going up. One more time. And coming back down. So I go about five times or so on that one. Um, really get the heart rate going. It's a really great way to finish it out. But I do it with my clients. They're dying afterwards. Okay, let's go back out. We'll do some more. Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to do the shuttle run. This is another great metabolic finisher, afterburner. What you're going to do, you're going to place two markers far, uh, apart. You kind of want to have it so you know where you're going to be every time. I usually time this with my clients it's at the very end. So this is where I usually keep it. And the thing is, you're going to sprint back and forth six times. So down there and back is one. You're going to go six times. Usually you can get around 40 seconds or so, okay? I usually record the times of all my clients, see what their personal best is. So just to give you a quick demonstration, you're coming down. You're going to sprint to the first one. Stay it up. Coming down, touching it. times because I'm just demonstrating but usually you want to go about six times or so okay and let's the last one we're going to do we're going to combine this one's kind of extreme you can't do the plyos and just do the regular push-ups and regular squats or push-ups and squat jumps first one you're going to do plyo push-ups get about 10 of those and you're super set with squat jumps rest 10 seconds okay 10 seconds then squat jumps for 10. One more. Okay, that was only five, but you get 10. Rest 10 seconds to go to nine plyo push ups. Rest 10. Nine jump squats and keep going down. But once you get to five, there's no 10 second rest. Okay, try to do that. It's a metal health finisher. Afterburner. This is Josh Thaw on trainerjosh.com. We'll see you next time.